Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little bonnet for a baby from zero to three months. This little bonnet is part of this baby set. I already showed you how to make the little sweater and the matching baby pants with footies. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the link to those tutorials. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3mm crochet hook, and today I'm using this light number 3 baby yarn. I'm using Lion Brand Baby Soft. This is a light number 3 yarn in this color Lemonade. You can also use DK Weight yarn. Okay, so here, to begin, I'm going to make a magic circle. To make a magic circle, all you do is just hold the yarn like this, wrap it around your fingers, and then hold right there. Now, insert your hook through this circle, grab a loop like this and here's your magic circle now if you have a hard time making the circle what you can do is just chain four chains and then join to the first chain and inside that that circle we're going to make 12 double crochets so here i'm going to chain two and inside the circle like i said i'm going to make 12 double crochets just like this so continue and make your 12 double crochets and, I'll, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my 12 double crochets inside this circle. Now to close this, you're just going to pull like this and that hole should close. Now, to finish this row, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet, not the chains, but the first double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. Now here, for the second row, we're going to chain two the two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, what we're going to do are two double crochets on each one of the stitches. So to begin into the same stitch we did the slip stitch, we're going to make our first two double crochets. Into the next double crochet, same thing, two double crochets. Continue like this. At the end of the second row, you should have 24 double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 24 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two. The two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then one, two, one, two, one, and so on. So here, to begin into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch, make two double crochets, one, two, into the next, make one double crochet, into the next, two double crochets, into the next, one double crochet, and continue. That's all we're going to do for this third row. At the end of the third row, you should have 36 double crochets. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 36 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish the third row. Now for the fourth row, you're going to chain two. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets, then one, one. Two double crochets, then one, one. Two double crochets, then one, one, and so on. At the end of this fourth row, you should have 48 double crochets. So let me show you. You're going to make your first two double crochets into the same stitch we do the slip stitch. That's one, two. Into the next two, you're going to make one double crochet on each one of the double crochets. See, one, one. Then you're going to repeat two double crochets, one, two, and into the next double crochet, into the next double crochet. That's all we're going to do, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have a total of 48 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish the fourth row. Now, for the fifth row, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. Then again, two double crochets and double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. So let me show you. Into the same stitch we do the slip stitch, make your first two double crochets, one, two, and into the next three, make one double crochet on top of each one. So that's one, 
two, three. Again, into the next, make two double crochets, and into the next three, make one double crochet on top of each one. That's one, two, three. So continue like this. At the end of this fifth row, you should have 60 double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have 60 double crochets to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the sixth row, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're going to make two double crochets. Then into the next four, we're going to make one double crochet on each. So let me show you. Into the first stitch where we do the slip stitch, make two double crochets. That's two. And then into the next four, one double crochet on each. That's one two, three, four. Then again, into the next stitch, make the two double crochets, and into the next four, one double crochet on each. This is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. At the end of the sixth row, you're going to have a total of 72 double crochets. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I have a total of 72 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, this part here is done. This is how big I'm going to make the hind part of the baby hat. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to chain one into the same stitch here. I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next, and so on. For this next row, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to make single crochets all around. Continue like this, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of single crochets. I have 72 single crochets. To finish, we're going to go here on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. This is how we finish this row. Now, for the next row, we're going to start counting rows. So for row one, we're going to chain three. The three chains here counts as your first double crochet. Into the next stitch, we're going to make a double crochet, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, and so on. We're going to continue around this part, um, maybe up to here. We're going to leave this part here without making any double crochets because it's going to be the back of the neck. So I'm going to meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 65 double crochets. We're going to leave these seven double crochets here like this. So now for the second row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now, what we're going to do in this row is front post and back post double crochets. Beginning into the second double crochet, we're going to make a front post double crochet. Into the next, make a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on continue like this alternating between a front post and a back post double crochet all the way to the end of this second row i'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this second row now to finish we're going to go here to the end where we have the three chains and we're going to make a double crochet right there now this is how i finished the second row now for the third row chain three and turn in this row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the first row, which is just double crochets on each one of the stitches from the previous row, like this. One double crochet on each one of the double crochets. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish, remember that at the end of every row, we're always going to make one last double crochet on top of the three chains. And this is how we finish this third row. Now, from here on, this is what you're going to repeat. The row of double crochets and the row of front post double crochets. In the next row, row four, we're going to repeat the second row, which is where we do the front post and back post double crochets. So to do that, we're going to chain three and turn. Into the second double crochet, this one here, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Into the next double crochet, make a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet 
continue like this, just alternating between the front post and back post double crochets all the way to the end. When you come here to the end, remember you're, you always make one last double crochet on top of the three chains, chain three, and then you're going to repeat the row of the double crochets. So continue and alternate between these two rows. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 10 rows. We did two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Now this last row that I did, it was the row where we do front post and back post double crochets. Now we're going to do one more row. So for the next row, chain one, turn. Now into the first double crochet, this one here, I'm going to make a slip stitch. Chain one, into the next, a slip stitch, chain one, into the next, slip stitch, chain one, into the next, slip stitch, chain one. This is just a decorative row. You can also do single crochets if you like. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. I finished making this row. This is what it looks like. It looks very pretty and delicate. Okay, so now here we're going to chain one and along this side here we're going to make single crochets. Inside each one of these stitches along the side, we're going to make two single crochets like this. Two single crochets. So continue like this, and I'll meet you right about here, not into this last double crochet, but here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 18 double crochets, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 double crochets. Now here, we're going to go into the same stitch here where we have this first double crochet. So right into that same stitch, make your first double crochet here. Here we're going to work a total of 9 double crochets. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're going to skip these three chains and into the next. Right here we're going to make two single crochets, one and two. Here we're going to work these 18 single crochets just like we have here. So I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 single crochets here. So we have 18, nine double crochets plus 18 single crochets. Now for the next row, we're going to chain three and turn. The three chains counts as your first double crochet here. So here we're going to work 16 double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16 double crochets. Now we're going to skip these two and we're going to go on top of the first double crochet out of these nine right here. So make your first double crochet there. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine double crochets. Skip these two and into the third. One, two, three, right here. Make a double crochet. And here, just continue and finish these last 16 double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. This is what it looks like here around the back. Now, for this side, we have 16 double crochets, nine double crochets, and 16 double crochets, including the three chains. Now, I'm going to make one more row, just like we did here around the, the front. So we're going to chain one, turn, and into the second double crochet, this one here, make a slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one. Continue like this all around the back and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this row here around the back and this is what it looks like. So now what I'm doing here is I'm making some slip stitches because I noticed that the, this part here around the face was a bit wavy. So I decided to do slip stitches here along the very edge. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing this in case you want to do the same. It really doesn't look bad, but um, I'm just adding an extra row here just um, so that it looks extra nice. So here, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab a loop and make a slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch. And this is all I'm going to do and that's what it looks like, see, right there. So if you want to do it, that's all I did. I'll meet you here at the end to show you our finished um, baby cap. Okay, I finished making this last row here around the bonnet and this is what it looks like. Now here I added a little ribbon around the back here and then I just added these little pre-made flowers. I just attached them by sewing them there and that's what it looks like. So my little bonnet is done and the set is complete. I've already shown you how to make the little baby sweater and the matching baby pants with booties. So I'll leave you a link down here in the description box of all of these tutorials. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.